Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and pool fans around the world to Louisville and the Derby City Classic. This is the coolest event all year in the world of pool. It is the 10 ball. Bigfoot Challenge. We have 16 players, and this is our third match. $32,000 on the line. Can't get any better than this. It's time to introduce our players. It's a race to 11. First of all, this man does need no introduction. You know who he is. Ladies and gentlemen, the Canadian Snooker Champion, U.S. Open Champion, and last year the all-round winner here at the Derby City, sponsored by Puyat Sports from Toronto, Alex the Lion, Pagalion. And our challenger, the 2015 Beijing Nine Ball Champion, also the 2015 U.S. Open Champion, sponsored by Slyclops, also Lochi Cloth from Taiwan. Let's hear it for Kevin Chang. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to lag for the break. Our, um, our official today is Jay Helford. Good luck. Let's send it to the guys in the booth. Tonight, we have more world-class 10 ball. Hello again, pool fans, and welcome to the 18th Annual Derby City Classic. This is our leadoff event, the Bigfoot Challenge. Mark Wilson here, Danny Diliberto alongside. And Danny, how do you see this one? Well, as you know, Chang played super in the U.S. Open, and I never saw anyone play that well. But this is a 5 by 10 it's a diamond pie by 10. Those were four and a half by nine. So I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see if he can play like that on the five by 10. Has to be a super challenge if you're not uh, around one often. Paggy Lyon, we know, spends a lot of time on a six by 12, so he can throttle it down. Yeah. He's won the lag. This is a race to 11, single elimination, all ball fouls. Ten ball does not win on the break. No jump cues allowed. <laughs> Seven and eight ball are the balls directly behind the one that have been finding the side pocket. Seven ball found the side pocket. So does the nine. Nice opening break there for Peggy Lyon. Very controlled. He didn't overhit him. Well, I think he's got to go two rails off the one on the outside of the uh, six. Let's see if he can, that's the path anyway, or else he can go one rail and shoot the two in the, in the longer pocket, but I think you go two rails, so does he. Good opening shot there. Three cushion route, got the cue ball free of the cushion. Top spin down for the three, he wants to kind of gauge how he wants to attack the four ball from the three, and that's what he's looking at right now. The Lion, 37 years old, from Toronto, Canada. Long been our favorite. And he's won two years in a row the Canadian snooker title. I think he's got to draw straight back. I don't know. Does he have an angle to go to the four and the side? Yeah, this is a, it's a little weird. He's kind of in between. Looks like he can force it down to play the four and the side, or he could try to draw back, but that's a small window to get perfect position in. He's our all-around champion from 2015 here at the Derby City Classic. He also won the one-pocket event here last year. Kevin Chang, as Danny said, our most current U.S. Open champion. One of the toughest fields ever assembled, that event. Good job there. Yeah. Move the cue ball a little closer to the five. Didn't want to mess around bumping the six over. Didn't need to do that. Take any unnecessary risk. Now 
Alex Pagulian, the only pool player I know that's ever had a maximum on a 6x12, a 147. Yeah, that's, he did that. <laughs> and impresses me every time I say it, so I have to say it every match I see him play because I'm overwhelmed with it. Overshot the mark there, just a hair. Well, he could play for the 10 in the side now. I think he'll still back at the 8 in, the same corner pocket he intended, but it's going to be a little tougher. Yeah, he doesn't feel real good about this. Interesting. Is he going to drop down to the end rail? Three cushions? I don't think so. I think he can go two cushions to the 10 in the side. This. Oh, wrong rail? No, that's what I meant. Three cushions oh, yeah. like that okay. way. That was three. But I thought he might play it back in the side, but he went a little extra pace got up here. Maybe plays a little bit easier this way. Figures to be decent with the bridge here. And he is. Hits the heart of the pocket. Opens up the match with a break and run out after winning the lag. Nice start. Race to 11. Single elimination. You have to be invited. It's not just a $1,000 entry fee. You have to be invited as one of the top tier players. And I then like you get that. to play. Yeah. The public deserves to see the best. Every match is the finals of any other tournament. I mean, it, like uh, I heard Derek say in the opening, this could be the uh, finals of a world championship. It's true. And you can say it about any of the eight matches that we've had. 16 players. One fourth of the, or one half of the field will play today and the other half tomorrow four rounds per day all concludes on Monday three sets two semifinals and a final okay four and eight ball right behind the one those two balls have been finding the side pocket pretty regularly Well, the four ball did, and the eight but ball did there goes the six. One ball got kissed back down there, and the seven ball hung up to help. But he did make a ball. Now he's going to have a combination to play. Like they just roll it over there so the one stays right in front of the pocket. Yeah. Soft speed. That means the cue ball is going to be a long ways away. And he went with pace. No, he didn't like any of it. And he didn't hit the ball full. I was worried about that. I thought he, if he does hit the high side of that, he's going to lose the one ball. But he's got a cut at this. And he likes to shoot. But how do you get position? You hit the eight and glance over. No, he looks like he's going to kick safe it. It looks, yeah. I think he's going to kick safe it. I'm almost feeling like he's, is he going to put the one down below the nine and ten? Is that the idea here? I would say so. No, he's cutting well, at he it. He cut at it. Like just what I you said. said. Clip the well, thing. Well, I just listened to myself. Yeah, he likes to shoot. Well, he's got another shot to shoot now. Yes, he does. I like the way he attacks the table. It's not like he's in awe of the size or anything. I mean, he kind of acts like he owns it and is supposed to make these balls. So very confident strokes. Just as I say that, he misses by three inches. You got him. <laughs> He left the cut on the two. Kevin Chang is a guy that, uh, well, a relative newcomer to the upper tier of pool here in the United States. Hails from Taipei in the Republic of China. It's part of uh, quite a uh, 
team of top tier players now kind of emerged here on the uh, American upper tournament circle. Made quite the impact here. Enough that we maybe consider Taipei as the leaders in the pool world over the Philippines now. Yeah, they got a, a lot of ranked players. Nice shot there. It is. Where are you going, cue ball? Well, you escaped the scratch. Now you got to go two rails under the six. You can't go under it, of course, but I mean on the short side. Yeah, That's perfect. Did. Day. Pretty nice speed, too. Yep. I think I mentioned that uh, no jump cues and all ball fouls. Ten ball does not win on the break. Just so everybody knows what we're playing. Very nice kid, too, Kevin Chang. I don't know no, if you spoke to him. But yeah, class act. Complete respect for him. I think once he removes his six and the eight, the ten is dead. I think it's at least close enough to throw. Seems like he's planning to go into these two balls. Uh, that's a gamble. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Did he scratch? Yes. <laughs> I think the 10 is dead. It'll throw. Well, Alex doesn't even have to mess with that. He could shoot the 9. Baggy Lion will expand his lead. Two games to zero. Off a chain of scratch in the side pocket. Alex Baggy Lion leads two games to none. Hey, we're reminding everybody to make your viewing a little bit more enjoyable. We got to the guys uh, broadcasting it live up in, in the movie. If you'd like to get a headset, $5 or $7 for both matches. Our next match is going to be amazing as well. We got Efren Reyes and Darren Dynamite Appleton just for real life. That's what we just tell them. We just tell them there's three left and then they'll sell. Just raise your hand if you'd like one. We'll hook you up. Rack three, get ready to start here. Alex up, two games to none. Peggy Lion found his favorite spot. Seven and eight right behind the one. They're the ones that go in the side. Cue ball got dunked in the side. So did the eight. No, the eight's hanging. Yeah. Oh, it did hang. I thought it fell. The two got a little funny here. That's a little bit of a break for Alex Peggy Lion because otherwise the balls are pretty open. I was looking at how to attack the two ball here from the one. Looks like he could send the cue ball just one cushion uh, along the long rail and attack the two and the five with the cue ball that way. With this angle. Don't know that you can easily play position on the two in the side. Now he's looking at possibly a safety. And this is where he would try to bump the 
the one ball down table and put the cue ball right pin to the back of that seven. You know, you want to do that because if you put the cue ball this close to the ball, you take away a lot of the kicks. Needs a rail. He didn't get a rail. He didn't? Did not get a rail. No, it didn't hit. Uh, well. Uh-oh. They can replay it. Uh, uh, I, I certainly saw that it was no rail. No. Well, it seems like somebody in the crowd is saying they got a rail. No, they're saying he didn't, and I agree. I watched that pretty closely. No rail on the three. Close, but that doesn't help. Well, playing position for the three is going to be tricky. How about the combination 310? Doable. It's just that you need to get, you know, kind of pretty good position on the three to play that because it's not on. You'd have to manufacture the cut on that. Alex is going to play a stop shot and go into the three here, it looks like, because the four is hanging over the pocket, so he can kind of attack the cue ball at the 10 here. Should he pocket the three, he still has a good shot on the four. Yeah, I don't think anything can go wrong here. Well, you might not get an ideal shot, but likely you will, and if you don't, you can protect yourself. Well, he's got a cut on the three. Yeah, good shot. No position to worry about on the four. Three cushions around, three or four cushions. Top spin, I think, is what we'll yeah, see. Yeah, you want to hit in front of the side. Like that, but don't hit the four. You he's won't good. like it. Yeah, he's good. Okay. Can he reach it now? No. <laughs> this is the 10-foot table. The bridge comes into play much more often. All the upper tier players that uh, have not practiced much with the bridge because they did test it will be uh, discovered here throughout the weekend. I like that shot. Nice speed. Perfect. Yeah, very well played. Didn't labor over that one long. He knew what he wanted to do and he executed it. Now I think it's just top spin and play the six in the same pocket as the five. Yeah, I think so. It's most natural. Don't really have to do much with the cue ball, just make the ball. The top spin, speed control, he's going to play it past the 10, so he's got the vantage point that this goes routinely from here. It looked like maybe it was a little bit of an obstruction. I see now that it clearly goes straight in. Double checking his angle on the seven. These guys like to play in such a way that they don't have to execute big draw strokes if they can avoid them, even though they have the capacity to make them. They're also a little bit more vulnerable to inconsistency. Alex played for straight in on the seven, so he knows he can draw a little bit or even stop. It's hanging. Drew it back a foot and a half. Perfect position for the eight hanging in the side. Alex is moving around the table pretty quickly here. Yes, she is. A good pace. Pocket got in the way of his bridge hand. 
That's what's hesitating him. Good shot. Big swing there, draw it out to the center of the table. Peggy Lyon now has three. Kevin Chang zero. Chang has to be a little disappointed that he didn't get a rail on that safety because he hit it pretty firm, but he hit two balls and both of them just he got short of the rail. He slowed three down. The idea was good, but the... Uh, yeah, let's see that questionable shot. Did the three hit the rail? Observers said it didn't. Your colleague in the booth here said it didn't. No. I couldn't see it's from... Uh, I should have. Uh, you know what they do in, uh, in China? They have a replay. I'd like to know what they're talking about. Okay, Peggy Lamb breaking and leading three games to zero. So he's off to a nice start. Seven and eight right behind the one ball. They're the ones that find the sign pocket the most. Eight ball did. Where's the seven ball? The one ball. Oh, look at this position while you wait. No, too thin. Got yeah. too thin. It got real tough. Looked like it was going to be good, and then that last inch really. LZ. He's thinking about trying to use a bridge and cut it in, Danny. Or is he thinking about using the bridge to play safe? Let's yeah, see. Yeah, I think you got to play safe. Yeah, that's really, it's hard to even reach with a bridge for him. You know, and it would be tough to get to the two anyway, trying to cut it in. Yeah. I think he can hit the one straight on and do well. Stick right there. Yeah, I think hitting that ball was a mistake. I mean, the one shouldn't have hit anything. Now he left the shot. Yeah, he wanted to hit it full enough that he could hold the cue ball on the end rail, but in so doing, it cost him any angle on the one, and then clipped no the five. No bargain here. Top shot, and he's near the cushion. Be tough to stick the ball. Can't go forward. You'll lose the shot on the two. Yeah, this is really how pool is. You're down 3-0, and you come to the table with what should have been maybe a light mistake on Peggy Lyon, and you got to make a super shot just to get one ball in. Well, if he makes it, he's going to get rewarded. Oh. No problem. Yeah. Made that look uh, effortless. speed there. I really admired his precision game at the U.S. Open. That was he played perfect. I never saw been. anybody in 60 years play as well as he did. Every match. Boy, it was consistent. It was remarkably Nobody good. Nobody come close. Yeah, this is a guy that doesn't give games away and make just random lazy mistakes or uh, he's not careless in any aspect of his game. He's not. He has the knowledge. Very methodical. Wisdom to know when to shoot, when not to shoot. He's going to be around for a long time. 
Yeah, very compact swing. And it's a guy, you know, I don't know if deliberate is the right word because that sort of makes makes it sound like you're uh, uh, not committed to your shot. No, it's quite the opposite with him. I think disciplined is really, he's very disciplined in structure. He never hits a ball halfway. He's fully yep. in the shot. Yeah, this is a heck of a tournament to start the, the festivities of the Derby City Classic Festival of five major events. Yeah, sure is. I mean, it starts off with some major fireworks. Especially two consecutive hill-hill matches. Left-handed, five by ten. Mm, super confident. Use a little draw. Two cushions out of there. Picks up his first win. Chang now trails one game to three. the U.S. Open, the amount of care he put into aiming each break shot and the consistency. He was playing position on the uh, head ball, the one ball when we were down there, and getting it so often that there was no doubt that that's what he was doing. Is that the breaking sleeve on his break cue there? I think he uses yes, that too. Yes, he does yeah, it's interesting as well. Rather than wear a glove, he has a sleeve over the shaft that slides. Yeah, he takes his time and really locks down and gets that focus going, so he makes a square hit on each and every one of these breaks to maximize his opportunity to get a score. Don't know that anything went in. Here comes the 10 ball, clear down table. He really needs that to fall off. It didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's not what he wanted to have happen. He got in there as deep as it possibly could. It came to rest, but so you know, close it could almost fall in anyway. This is going to be a quick game. Well, maybe, and if. I mean, you know, he's probably going to have to billiard the 10 ball here with the cue ball. I don't think so. I think he'll bank it. The 10 is in there deep, Danny. He's going to sell out the game if he misses it. Well, then don't miss it. Uh, I think he's going to billiard it. He did the billiard, you're right. Great shot, too. Yeah, it certainly was. And a great shot. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together. Four innings to one now. Ryan Lewis. Scored four to one, but it's really not Kevin Chang's fault that it's ended up that way so far. He's playing well as also. Uh, Pat Lyon playing great. So far, Pat lyon has got one break and run out in this this match. Seven and eight, right behind the one. You almost crashed again. Something go in? No. No. Oh, It'll be a dry break. It is. Everything's in the open. Yeah, 
Accurac looks to be uh, in play here. Nine sitting right on it. Ten's near it. Getting that removed, that will probably be uh, upon Jay Helfert to, to move it just because there's so many balls there they could bump. You got a little ways to go to get to worry about that, however. Boy, nice shot there to manipulate that angle, that speed. Got a lot out of that. Fairly thin hit. You gotta go forward, hit the end rail with a little bit of right English. It'll bounce perfectly to the three. Nice speed there, too, because the object ball just found the pocket. That's why I like Simone. If you can shoot soft and the ball will go no matter how thin you hit it. Keeps moving. It doesn't wobble at slow speeds because of the density of the weave of the cloth, you know, so you can play shots like that. On cruder cloth, you're really making yourself vulnerable to the less quality cloth. allows a little bit more shimmy in the balls. This is the greatest equipment on earth. Diamond table, Simona's cloth, and now the uh, Cyclop ball. Yeah. No question about it. Ten foot table, one piece slate. Super stern test for pros. I'm surprised he did that. I thought he would stick. He would have the angle to go. Now I think he's got a little more work, definitely. Well, it's tough to second guess this guy because he seems to have knowledge and the right choices of what to do. And he's table side and we're 30 feet above, so. Yeah. I have to make a good shot here. He did so. A little he, weak. Well, let's see. He can make it, but yeah, you're right. He's going to go into the seven pretty heavy and hot. Yeah. Doesn't have to turn out good here. Takes a moment to compose himself here. You do not want to be distracted by where the seven ball is going to go when you're actually cutting the six. You want to play that mentally beforehand before you even bend over. You might double hit the seven. No, you definitely want to make sure you make the six because you can defend yourself from here. So he's queuing up to go with a little speed. No. Draw. Yeah, it didn't turn out exactly the way he wanted, but well, he does have a shot. He's got a shot, but it's long. An awkward angle to get on the eight, too, even though the eight's very near the pocket. Yeah, he's got some work to do. Like the way he takes his time and composes himself. He knows this is an enormous shot in the match. It's probably the singular biggest shot of the match so far. A little high left on this and go end reel, side reel and come down by the eight. No, he just looks like he's skewing up to use some draw. Done. Look at that nice shot, Eddie. Great shot. Yeah, that was smart. He didn't try to overdo it. He took what the table was willing to give him. Rather than try to force an angle or manufacture an angle, he just played the angle that he had. He knew that if he made it, he was going to get rewarded. And he did it. I like the way he thinks, this kid here. Mm hmm yeah, we marveled at him at the U.S. Open. Yeah, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Alex Lompier and Roger Ingram to the tournament desk, please. Alex 
Yeah, that's it's, it's amazing. When you have a little bit of talent and a willingness to work hard and you stay at it for a long time, you persist. This is what you arrive at. He's a smart player, too. Especially when this is your only way to get somewhere in, the, in life. Well, people like that that flourish, they would succeed in anything they applied themselves to. You know, exactly. Still, you know, it wouldn't matter. He'd be the best garbage man that ever lived, the way he goes about things, you know, or best astronaut or surgeon or whatever. Glad he chose our sport, though, because we need more guys like him in this sport. You're right. Now, he's shooting it right off the Accurac. That's got to be a little scary. It doesn't change the, the ball. I, I mean, see it that. It doesn't change the hit and the roll of the ball. I've seen it over and over. You know, it's very thin. Yep, success. And that was a good, tough run out there. 3 2 is our score. Checking the rack, checking, aiming. Got his brake sleeve on the shaft. And every time he goes down, he usually gets back up two or three times and then settles in and focuses. 100% commitment to the brake. Eight and five right behind the one. Cue ball got away. Not really away. It went in the pocket. Okay, well, things not going Kevin Chang's way. He just made a good, tough run out. Now he's provided a golden opportunity for Peggy Lyon to get back and get some momentum. Yeah, the balls are all out in the open. Alex raises up. And that's it's halfway around the table before the one hits the pocket. He knew he made it. So. And that's a testament of the true roll on the diamond table. Yeah, I couldn't be more impressed with the consistency that these tables provide. You never hear anyone say the ball rolled off. And it can. I mean, it's, it doesn't mean the table can't get out of level, but they, they're they designed to be leveled, and they're heavy enough that they stay leveled for a good long while. And I really believe the one-piece slate has something to do with that as well. Yep. Oh, that's tricky here. It's a winner if he makes it, but he got a little funny. Big shot here. Ooh, Ooh he trickled it in, <laughs> but he I made really, it. I really thought he went wide, didn't you, all yeah. the way? I mean, yeah. even on its approach to the pocket, I thought it was wide, and then it just found the edge of the pocket. That's the right speed. Any harder, it might not have gone. <sighs> Tremendous shot maker. Peggy Lyon. Plenty of heart. Guy's got plenty of heart.
tuck the shirt in because if your shirt brushed at eight, it's a foul. The chat? I think he goes two rails now. No doubt about it. Just a little thinner than he really wanted to be, but still doable from here. Yeah, the cue ball is going the right path to get to the eight. Two rails. Make the ball. Most of these shots are missed heavy, so you have to aim to overcut it just slightly. Oh, he banked it. I'm surprised he didn't cut at it. Oh, that could be fatal. Well, perhaps it was just a little more difficult than we we. Uh, yeah, but we thought. play good up here. Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> I don't like to second guess these guys. Well, he felt good about the bank. Roger Ingram. Obviously. And he knew that there's a chance he could get a backdoor safety. Should he not? He didn't, but he could have. This is a little funny. It's not as obvious as, as you would think. Because if he hits it low to try to go two rails, he might run into the nine. Got to miss the nine here. In the pocket. Good shot. Good shot. Yeah. There's no need to apologize. You had to make a great shot, and you know the cue ball's going over there, and sometimes you're going to find the pocket and scratch, so when you don't scratch, it, you don't need to feel like you got away with something. The calculated risk. Some of these shots you have to shoot just to have a certain amount of negative expectation you attached. Got, you got the perfect angle on the nine to be off of the rail. Shooting the ten. Don't have to shoot hard, just bounce it off the rail a little bit. Oh, he didn't, I guess he didn't like the angle. No, he hit it a little heavy, it kind of yeah. rubbed it uh, along the long rail and wobbled home. Yeah. This has to be a good shot maker here. Takes his time. And he successfully completes that. Pulls back within one game of Pagulion. Kevin Cheng now trails four games to three. Cheng playing 900 pool. What's Alex at 850? Yeah, that's 900 world class. Pagulion 850, that's professional level. And on the 10-footer, but also against world-class competition. A little easier score when you get a little better starts. These guys don't give you many good starts. So playing 900 pools, that's a remarkable feat for anyone. Every year, the standards get raised. The depth and quality of the field improved. And the fans get smarter. I think we've had pretty smart fans for a long time. Yeah, but every year they see the best players in the world, and they got to get a little bit smarter. Oh, yeah. Chang now set the break. Five and eight, right behind the one. Eight ball on the side. Where's the one going to line up? Another ball fell in. Four, four, yeah, two balls went in. He has a shot on the one. I don't I know if he has a passes. full pocket. Yeah, I think it passes. But he's on the rail, so it's going to be tough to get to the two. Just make the one. I think he'll bounce out good enough. He's down seeing, uh, see if the two clears the seven.
Yeah, this is tricky. Yeah, real sensitive shot here. That's how sensitive it was. <laughs> yeah, he really didn't come close to that. Uh, but I, I can't fault him for playing offense. You don't want to get into a bunch of defensive battles to try to win games. And I think he felt like if he made that ball, he had a good chance to run out the rack. But he was near the cushion, and that's what made it not difficult. He would have pocketed that if the cue ball was off a little more. Good shot. Mm -hmm. Purposely played the glide off the nine and six to bring the cue ball down the yeah, table. That, and that made the position. Well designed shot and pretty well executed. Wouldn't have minded another foot of travel on the cue ball, but anyway, this is where we're at. We can certainly do something from here. Has the option to play the four back in the side. Side of the table he's standing at now. I think he got a good angle here, Danny. No, nope. not he, unless he brushes off the 10. He got a little straight. I think if he strokes it with some speed, he'll go off the 10 to the 5. Oh, but he might be straight in. Oh, what a shot. What a great shot that was. Mm hmm well, world-class pool is what I came to watch, and that's what I want to see, so that was well done. You came here to watch world-class pool? I thought you came here to see me. See my friends? That's the <laughs> secondary component. <laughs> Think how many friends we have in this room. We know over half the people, you know, and throughout the week there will be thousands of people here. Yeah, I, I get embarrassed. People come up to me and say, Danny, I don't know their name. No, you, I don't even, I, I apologize beforehand. I'm sorry. I met you last year and forgot. But I say, well, you gained weight. And they, and they say, no, I lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> So that's how you make it. You should go the other way. Oh, you I do it, oh. and I still am wrong. Well, I mean, but at least it's not going to be, uh, you know, if a poor guy worked hard to lose weight, and you say, oh, you've gained weight. Or they come up to me and say, Danny Gilberto? I say, I used to be. <laughs> oh, he trickled one. Yeah, good speed. Look at him. He knows he almost missed, but I mean, come on. You don't feel bad about an almost miss. No. I think you're playing great when you almost miss. It's when you do miss that you have to be worried. Yep. Slow down. He's okay. And the effervescent Alex Peggy Lyon takes advantage of that miss by Kevin Chang. He expands his lead back to two games. Peggy Lyon five, Chang three. Shooting over in 900 right now. If you would like to listen to the broadcast, headsets are still available. You need both headsets, uh, but for both matches, for just $7. We've got a great match after this as well. There's our look at the stats, 879, 875, the TPAs, 
42 balls pocketed for Peggy Lyon, 29 for Chang. Six errors, Peggy Lyon, four for Chang. Very high standard. Between 850 and 900. And the, makes it well worth the drive over here from St. Louis. Four and five, right behind the one. Most likely balls to find the pocket. Well, not in this case. Eight ball. Got a funny kiss. Just enough energy to get to the pocket. <laughs> Alex is laughing. This will be a pretty shot. Laugh. This will be a pretty shot because you don't have to spike down to try to get that two ball back into the side pocket. Very sensitive shot. When you hit it perfect, it looks like it's natural, but you're going to have to totally make this. Happen, oh, don't yeah. jack up too much because the cue ball will hop. Don't shoot it hard. Well, he, he did all right, but he still got work. I'm not even sure. This is a tough shot here. Guess he can back cut it in there, fan it in. He could, but the cue ball is going towards balls. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's going to have plenty of speed on it, too. Gonna have to roll the dice just a little bit here. Yeah, you know, I call it a hit and hope. Okay, took that out of the equation, went you straight said, safety. Oh, boy. Good decision there. Yeah, it certainly was. Minimize the unforced errors. Great play. Yeah, position was real tough because you were going into a bunch of balls. It didn't have to turn out good. Not only that, but the shot wasn't that easy. I mean, he even had to hit that one somewhat thin, so we know it wasn't that easy. Here's going to be an interesting two-cushion kick to a ball out in the middle of the table. <coughs> See, he's thinking this is the best way to make the two. I like going one rail and hit the two. That's the big thing. I don't think there's a one rail or a available. Might not be. The yeah, nine is in the way. That's the issue. I don't think he even finds this type of two cushion kick. This peaceful. is a tough hit. I think it's going short. Oh. How did he miss that one? <laughs> <laughs> no, great effort there. Really great. They applauded for the yeah. attempt. That was a great hit. It certainly so was. So tough on new cloth to go two rails with accuracy. Yeah, well said. On two, on a broken cloth, you can kind of gauge that. But when it's brand new, it slips and slides. And just a couple degrees uh, difference on your entry angle into that two cushion hit makes a great deal of difference where the cue ball goes. It's it's one of the most sensitive shots on new, new cloth. Right. And high and low on the cue ball. Makes it a lot more difficult. Super soft. Uh, he didn't hit he, the ball. No, he was trying to thread it through there. Failed. Made a foul. Well, what do you do with the two now? <laughs> he looks at that to play a combination. How hideous is that? Could he roll it in the side softly? Oh, no, no. He wouldn't even think about the combination if that goes in the side. You're right. Look at the angle. The point is sticking out. Yeah, this is a, oh boy. Well, he deserves a shot because of that great hit on the two rail kick. Yeah, yeah. He deserves something better than this, but anyway, this is what he has. I, I want to say he's about 50-50 to make this. I don't think his success rate is higher than that. Oh, good job there. Well, I was he made wrong. a liar out of you. Yeah, great shot. Perfect speed. You're in a gambling casino, so if you're going to make statements like that, you better have the good odds. I know. Big thing now, when you take a shot on like that and succeed, you have to win the game from it. Otherwise, it was really uh, ill thought out. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's got to go one rail with a good angle on the three to get to the four. Well, I guess he's going to take the cut on the four. Well, I think he can stun over, too, if he has that angle. Oh, yeah. no, he's going to take the cut on the... Yeah, he's measuring that up here. Yeah, I, I, I like going to the four with the cue ball on the end rail. Position is much better after that, but... I'm going to have to really load this up with a backspin and very short swing to kill it enough. Tons of spin, hardly any backswing. Handled that effortlessly. Made it look yeah, easy. Yeah, very good shot. That's a, that's a case where hitting the pocket properly where you design to makes all the difference in the world. If he rubs that side cushion going in, then the seven ball gets in the way. It's because the cue ball would retain just enough speed to travel another six or eight inches. Yeah, he got good in this. Yeah, accurate pocketing is, is a crucial and pivotal part to ball speed and direction. Yeah, he's going to need a little left-hand English. He did that. And he's off the cushion with the cue ball. Good shot there. Move the cue ball back uh, eight inches or so. Got a nice angle. The rest of the rack is at his mercy now. Here he goes. Left handed. Very good to be able to play both hands. Three cushions. Especially on a ten foot table. Perfectly straight in. This would be Kevin Cheng's fourth win. He's behind by one game now at four games to five. You feeling 10 10, Danny? Well, we've had nothing but hill hill matches so far. And this might be a hill hill one, too. Next up, Reyes and Appleton. The hits just keep coming. I haven't seen Appleton yet. Yeah, we spoke this morning. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good, so he might show up. <laughs> Rack number 10, Chang breaking, trailing, four games to five. Oh, boy. Table was leaking, but he made the cue ball. Yeah, ugly kiss. It wasn't uh, really his fault. It was a good break. It was. Two balls pocketed on the break. Ball in hand. Pretty wide open layout now. Peggy Lyon. Ever so important at this level that you punish the guy that uh, creates a foul. Whether even though it wasn't by his fault, I'm just saying you have to capitalize on these. You can't, you can't try to battle through and make mistakes back. Hey, we're going to see the break again. I want to see it. Cue ball comes right back down the center of the table. It gets kissed, and here comes the three ball. Bingo. I don't think it was funny. <laughs> Stun the cue ball up, nearing the three. Wasn't able to get real close, but not real bad either. Six ball would be next. That's right along the same rail that the three is.
he worried about that halfway down. Yeah, me down. too. Yeah, he, he used the full measure of the opening there. Yeah, a little straight. He may have to draw back to the short side position here. That's what he's going to do. The angle's there. Oh, well, he hit it nice. He did, because That's if you hit it harder, you could scratch. Or you could go too far and get the real weird angle. Here, you can totally control your cue ball. Even if you fall six inches short of this, you can still two cushion and control the cue ball. Here, you can just go one cushion. Good recovery there by Peggy Lyon. Yeah, he'll go two rails to the nine. And with the bridge. That's right. You know, he may go one cushion, too. He's got that option because if he doesn't feel comfortable trying to stun the cue ball if it's too flat. He did. He went one rail like you called. His conservative approach fell perfect on the nine. Now all he needs to do is make a stop shot here. Middle of the pocket, Paggy Lyon now looking to reclaim a two-game lead in this match. And ugly scratch for Kevin Chang cost him a game. Paggy Lyon leads 6-4 and breaking. Okay, Peggy Lion breaking, close to the center. Out of ball action, the heat ball kiss back towards the pocket, but I don't think he's going to make anything. No, he didn't. He didn't. He left the shot on the one. Side spin, perfect angle. Played. Worked the cue ball. Nice angle here. Very controllable. Get his bridge hand down. Back at the center of the table. Yeah, right about where it is now would be good.
Really kills the cue ball there. Maybe almost too much. Yeah. Got yeah, a little bit too thin on this ball. But he's all right. He's got to go wide of the eight. He'll be fine. These wrecks always are tougher when you're two games behind than when you're two games in front, too. You don't want to, you're, you're uh, nervous about falling further behind to a great player. Good shot there. Yeah, this is a little awkward here, Danny. You have to right. dig down to get a draw, you know, and it's all an angle. You can bump the nine easy. Yeah, and you want to get an angle on the... Uh Looks like he's going to top spin to the center of the table between the nine and the seven ball. Well done. Yeah, that laid just in that little funny area. Got good on it. I think he could soft draw it and have the shot on the uh, seven. He plays left-handed very well. Chat. Yeah, he got control of this game. Good job there, Kevin Chang. Two balls away, falling back within a one game deficit. Well, he, it looks like he's not intimidated by the 5 by 10. Not one bit. Chang 5, Peggy Lion 6. Looks like we got a short timeout. We'll return. Kevin Chang prepares to break. He's got the Q sleeve on his shaft. Takes a good fair amount of time aiming this break. Nine ball trickled into the side. Something else went as well. Good position. Yeah, he really has position. A foot away, straight into the corner. Object ball is less than a foot from the pocket. Kevin requesting that the referee move the 10 from that uh, Accurac. Just drawing over by the side pocket. Is that where he's going? Yep. Long, long rail. Gotta hit this pretty soft. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's a weird kind of a layout. I don't know if he's going to go a little bit low and left English. Try to go two cushions around the three, I think. Well, he, he did it. Just grazed the just three. He barely but, did it. Yeah, that was... But he did it. No, tremendous. Getting by there. If he bumps that three, he can, things can really quickly escalate into something very, very awkward. Now everything's pretty manageable. Looks like he's going to go three rails. No, 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 he's down to the end rail here for the six, just run rail. Oh, that's the six down there, yeah. He didn't want to get straight. He got pretty straight. <laughs> I'm still confusing the two balls now and then. Six and seven. Yeah, we never play with balls like this, so it is a little odd. I still like the traditional colors the best. Yep. Me too. So he's queuing up to draw back with a little bit of left English. Once he clears the eight, he did. Pretty good shot. Yeah, real good shot. Didn't try to overdo it. Took what the table would give him. He's going to go two rails to the eight. Missed the side pocket. Yeah. <laughs> he hit that a little like he was a little scared his cue brushed off to the side but he still connected to the heart of the pocket just one of those shots he just felt iffy about Let's out a big breath of air. Relaxes. Looks to the side. He's not in a hurry. We are playing a 40-second shot clock, but he's only used 15 seconds. So. Good shape there. Nice time to break it right out here for Kevin Chang. Ties the match. Six games apiece. Pretty good shooting, 919 for Chang. 867, Peggy Lyon. That's, That's not respectable. Bad either. All right. Here's our break performance. Chang's only been successful two times out of five. Peggy Lyon, four out of seven. Nowhere near the blistering pace that. Uh, Carlo Beato sat last time when he had a thousand percent success rate in the race to 11, where he got 10 games. break there. Oh, he almost got the bad kiss again. Instead, he got the good kiss, though. So. One ball's yeah. right in front of the corner pocket. Five's hanging. Two's just north of that. Kevin Cheng's the only guy I ever see use that break sleeve, Danny. Years ago, one time Jeff Carter and I were on the road in northern Wisconsin in this bar. They sold this, the Dallas West uh Pro Aimer or something. It was a sleeve like that. And it cost a dollar. We bought one. So the next time we played him, we got in the middle of the match and then we got it out and acted real serious. Like that's what we always use. It was crudely crafted. Didn't really have much function, but we, 
We acted like we really thought it was something. <laughs> you we were acting, wait. right? Yeah, we couldn't wait to, to act real serious in front of him. We had a lot of fun in those days. No problem here. No, the issue is how he wants to get on the two ball. That's what he's kind of figure how he's going to manipulate that. So it's an easy transfer to the three. Good job. He's going to slide just past the four. One cushion in between the four and eight. At a corner pocket enters. Good shot. didn't want to mess with it. That's no, this a good is, shot. Right. Right between the four and eight. That was good. Fell just a little straighter than he really wanted. He made top spin out two cushions rather than draw back. That's the speed. Pretty darn good, isn't it? Yep. At first it looked too soft. I thought so too. Instead, now it's perfect. It is too. He just got there just so beautiful. Good repeating swing. These uh, star players from Taipei, they just all have very compact swings. that lends itself to good ball speed. He lives in Houston now. I used to live in Houston for about three years. Nice shot. Yeah, but he's going to have trouble reaching this one. But he no. shoots left-handed, oh, too. You think he is? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. I thought he could get it right-handed, but no. Watch out. Wow, he hit the point of the side. Did he get perfect? He's going to take the lead. Alex really hasn't had a chance to do much. Mm -mm. No, it's been a while. That was Cheng's second consecutive break and run out to claim the lead at seven games to six. Yeah, Cheng is a good, a good person, a good player, and like you said, we need more like him in the mm -hmm. game. Yeah, plays hard. Uh, is responsible and accountable. You know, I mean, which suggests respect, and and that's what really wins me over. Here's a guy. It's all about it. He doesn't worry about making excuses. Plays great. Here we get another look yet at the uh, shaft. Uh, what what did they call it before? <laughs> I forgot. Well, uh, whatever. It's the bridge slide that he puts on the shaft. You don't see that very often.
The one went in the far corner. Is he going to get a shot on the two? Looks like he's going to be jacked up at yeah. the very least. He's got a shot on it, but he's over the top. Position play. Shaking well, his head a little. Yeah, that position play from here would be very, very difficult to do. Making the ball will be difficult. Yeah. yeah. Difficult enough it might not justify playing it. You're right. All you can do is just try to... I mean, I think it's too aggressive to try to play position from here. Too risky. So you got to roll in a tough shot to get to yet another tough shot that you probably have to play safe from. He may think about pushing out here. Where would you push? Well, to the end rail or... I mean, yeah. anything but lose from here. You know, uh, at least try to get yourself into some kind of a place where you can maybe get a little better go at it. Well, it looks like he's hitting the cue ball pretty much in the center. That'll help. But still, position will be tough. What wow, he shot. went forward. What, what a, a great shot. shot that was. Wow. Wow. This is what we saw at the U.S. Open. That was a shot and a half. I almost always see guys roll that shot. Except for this time, he played an aggressive stroke. World-class winning pool on display right there. Yeah, that was a great shot. We thought he might push out. <laughs> Look what he did. Yeah. I'd like to see that again. I thought he couldn't. Oh, I... Unbelievable. Nice shot there. Let's get look another look. Look at this look. shot over the top. Bouncing, hopping, Look at the arcing. cue ball. Yeah. He did it again. Yeah, beautiful shot. Now here comes the left-handed. Big advantage, shooting both hands. Oh, he could reach it right-handed. He he's got to be careful with his shirt, though. He was bluffing. Uh oh. Okay. Good. It was just that awkward angle that uh, he couldn't do much. And so, uh, good shot there. I have to take a little tougher play here. And hit. And you hate to give one of these racks back, especially after all the tough shots he's made. That puts a little more pressure on this shot. But he'll get rewarded if he makes it. You don't want to shoot shots with no reward. Especially tough ones. He's going to get rewarded. He'll even have a good angle on the seven to get to the eight. But what, what a nice hit that was. Yeah, this is how he played in the U.S. Open. Oh, you and I recognize it because we know just how tough that is and the speed and hit the angles right. But when it goes in, if you if you don't know, it just looks like it's supposed to go there. Got the good angle now. Get to the nine in the side. He's going to take a bigger lead. Oh, he went to the corner because he couldn't keep the right angle. But meanwhile, poor Pagulayan hasn't done anything wrong. He hasn't been at the table. Mm -mm. Perfect. Nice shot. Yeah, that was just that stun draw rather than effective draw. Super well played. 
Toughest out of the match so far. That was his third consecutive break and run out. Cheng now has a two game lead, 8 6. Yeah, good time to break and run out there three times in a row after winning the game. Put four on your side of the ledger in a hurry. 8 6 is the score. Cheng still breaking. He uses the Q slide here on his break. The only pro that we have in the tournament that uses one of these. Drive break. Good control. And a real good inning there. Peggy Lang gets to come to the table now with a shot. Well, Peggy Lang knows he's in a match right now. Nice shot to come up with there, speed-wise. Is he going to follow down to the end rail and try to get a little further up yeah, table? He, yeah, that's yeah. what he's doing. I'd like to get clear up here, straight in. Good. Mission accomplished. Yeah, good. Real good. That really helps solve the rest of the rack because now it's just a matter of controlling the angles. He doesn't have to manufacture any more angles. See, he wants to put the cue ball where he can reach it. Went over to make sure the six passes the ten if he needs the shoes over there, which is the way it looks like he'll end up being. See, he did it that way so he could reach the cue ball. That's what he was aiming at before he shot. Much wisdom. Yeah, this got a little funny here. Yeah, now he's going to have trouble with this. Yeah, he's a little flat, and it's going to be awkward reach over balls. He's the bridge. And this quickly became a lot of work here. Yeah, he's not comfortable with this. Mm -mm, no, this is a, one of those just weird predicaments. Got to work hard to get a wrong angle here now. Yeah, this is going to be tough sledding. Yeah, he didn't get good. Yeah, he lost control here.
Yep. That made him miss. He found it distasteful, and he kind of popped out of his shot a little bit there. He knew he could possibly graze the 10 with that shot also. Yeah, he's not happy right now. Tough Kevin, to be happy. Well, I mean, he's Kevin Chang. He's blessed with an opportunity, and it's not an easy one. But if he converts this, it will really, really put the uh, hurt to... Alex Peggy Lyon to come back in this match because Cheng is just playing so well at this moment. Yep. And it's when you when you steal games like this. I mean, Cheng's winning many games on his own. Then he steals one here that he didn't figure necessarily to get a chance to play in. Like you said early, he doesn't give anything away. And these are big momentum swings at this juncture. Pretty shot. Boy, he is a good player. No two ways about that. Doesn't overdo anything, then takes what the table gives him. He gets out when he's supposed to. He really does. And sometimes when he's not supposed to. That's how you win tournaments. Yeah, he's only 28 years old, too, Danny. Got yep. all the tools. Feel sorry for the players. Oh, getting tougher every <laughs> they tournament. They paid him 20 years. More. He's going to be in good shape when he's 48, you know. I mean, he's going to be a force for a long time. Just make the ball. You're going to the nine automatically. Perfect speed. He might be on the cushion when this nine ball is in. I think with a soft draw, he might hit the point of the side and, and come out a little. Oh, he stayed near the rail, but he's okay. Yeah, he's actually good. He got a couple inches off the rail and got a little closer at the 10. And he cashed it in. <laughs> Gets the first three-game lead in the match, leading 9-6 over Peggy Lyon. Look at those AccuStats, too, the TPA 9-4-3. And like you said earlier Peter in class. another match, he's on the hill to get on the hill. <laughs> yeah. It's a crucial place to be. I always looked at it like this, Danny. If I could get on the hill... <laughs> Somehow, no, if I could get there. Now luck could come in. I might be able to just fall over and get there. <laughs> oh, baloney. Three ball went in the pocket. Cue ball got up close to the one. We're going to see a safe here. Yep. <laughs> 
It's not an easy routine safe, though. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with this. The fact that he's very close to the one really helps. Yeah, he can hit it real thin and I think go two rails behind the nine. Uh, he'll do something else. What is he doing? He's not shooting. I think he may be putting the, you know, down table and then controlling the cue ball. He went the other way to try to use these other blockers. Same idea. Distance. Yeah. Got some Distance. blockers in there. And did so very <sighs> controlled. He sure got distance. This is tough for Alex. Yeah, he, Alex doesn't like this. He's trailing by three games, and this is what he's got. Yeah. I don't think he could even hit it two rails. He's going to mass it. Man, this is rough. Yeah, it really is. Boy, that's a nice shot. Yep. <laughs> but he's going to have to do more tricks. It is, but uh, he's at least bought he's himself out of that, that one, one yeah. right? Cut the one at the nine and try to go behind the two. No, I don't think that's what he, wa he wants. It's like he's stunning it. Maybe he's stunning up by the nine. No, he's drawing. He was shooting. He sure was. He had position, too, if he would have connected. Yeah. He picked up distance for sure. Well, Alex, you got to do some spectacular stuff to come back. Boy, what a shot. What a shot. Did he go in the pack? No, good shot. Uh, People Danny, love that. You just said he has to do some spectacular stuff. Well, he started off with that one, so that was spectacular it stuff. It really was. That was a fine hit, for sure. <laughs> and it's still tricky. Yeah, he's in one of those in-between strokes. Can he stun it down and play the four in the corner? Does he want to go two cushions, side rail, side rail, and try to play the four into the side pocket by near the eight? Looks like he's stunning down table. Not too far oh, now. Oh, he went too far. Yeah, he did. He snookered. He might be able to rub the outside edge of the four, but that's the best he has. Well, that might be good enough if he could. No rail. No rail. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's bad news there. For that's fatal. The lion camp. Kevin Chang checking out the eight. What can he do with that? That, that would be the one stumbling block in the, down the road. Yeah, he checked to see if it goes past the nine. Apparently he's content that it does because he has not uh, exhibited any more concern so he's about looking that. looking at it again, but the thing about it is you could slap it in because you don't have to shoot hard. Mm -hmm. The nine is right there.
He got the angle he needed. <laughs> yeah. He's looking looks, at the eight again. He's not real sure about it. No, it still looks tricky to me from here. But certainly love the uh, confidence he approaches all these shots with and the discipline for sure. Yeah, he's got discipline. It's going to be a massive three rail draw shot. One cushion. It'll be a little short this time, though, Danny. Yeah, especially if he's not sure. Did he get to the bank? He might be able to bank this. Yeah, but it doesn't look like position's very easy. I don't think it's bad. I think you'll get position. Well, you got to go. You don't want to hit this hard, I wouldn't think. No, you want to get to the nine in the far corner if you bank it. You're saying collide into the nine with a cue ball? I oh, I see. No, oh, okay. You I see what you're saying. It. You're saying just drag it down. Okay. Yeah. I think it's thin enough, though. He's going to be clear to the end rail. But yeah, I see what you're saying now. I think he can hit it soft enough not to be on the end rail. Oh, he's banking. Or if it looks like he's banking this with some pace because he's got a long bridge length and a long backswing length. Oh, what a shot. Drilled the heart of the pocket. Nine ball. He rubbed it. Got it near the corner pocket. That's not too bad. People love that. Yeah. And he drained that bank right in the heart of the pocket. Back cut it. Terminated that bank with extreme prejudice. Bless you. Looking at top spinning, looking at stunning. He seems settled on the top spin. He'll have the 10 in the side, just don't miss the ball. 50 yard, no, he's okay. Beautiful speed. Now, this is certainly missable. I like the way he approaches it, but it takes full time. Make sure he puts a good stroke on this. Still, overcut it. You were right. It was tough. Yeah. Well, Alec, you're not far out of it. You'll be two games out of it if you make this. Well, Alex didn't expect to shoot this game. Uh, he converted into a win, unexpected win. 9-7 is our score, Peggy Lyon trailing and breaking. Okay, Peggy Lyon breaking. Eight ball did not make the side pocket. Is this going to be a dry break? No, he made something. Four. No, he didn't make any. Two, six. No, he did not. We're going to see a safe here. He's going to try to thin the one ball back to the, or across the end rail there and bring the cue ball two cushions down between the 
Six and five behind the nine or ten. Maybe not. Maybe he's banking the one down table. Oh, he went this way. Huh. He got him. Boy, tremendous execution there. Well thought out, well designed. Well, Alex got a kick. <laughs> yeah, he's got a weird kick angle here, too, because the five is kind of impeding any kind of a natural two cushion or doesn't look like the one cushion's available. Certainly not easy. He's going to have to make a tremendous shot to hit this one ball. Everything is off angle. Top hit. The yes, it is. is. in the way. I mean, I think if he goes this way, I think he's going two cushions just because of what you said. It's then you got a chance to scratch well, off the one. We, we got all kinds of problems. Well, first problem is hit the ball. Great Which shot. He did. Great shot. He had to manufacture that with center ball. Stun. The one doesn't go by the three, I don't think. Not an easy rack, no matter what. He's approaching it like the one goes by there. There's not much to... I mean, he probably only has part of a pocket. He may have to play for a bank position. Now he's down the table looking at what, it, what he could do playing safe. I don't think it passes to three. Maybe not. Shot clock's about to expire here. One, zero, extension time. Good time to use it. No need to be in a hurry here. Trying to just thin the one and bring the cue ball one cushion up onto the three. Go behind the three. three. Yeah. He got a rail this time, but he didn't snook him. He's got a hit on the one. Yep. Big game for Alex to win. Yeah, he's He'll be gonna, only two behind. He got his break you out as if he's going to jump the edge of the three here. I don't think he has to. I think he can. Yeah, maybe not. Three. Maybe maybe he accidentally took his break. Yeah, he did. He accidentally took his break you to the table and recognized it. Rail first or ball first? I guess ball first he went. Good control. Trying to. Oh, he might have left the window. Tried to install some blockers there. There's all uh, small windows and a lot of blockers, but he seems to indicate that he left that window. Well, he did. But how do you get to the two? You play to get to a bank? I think so. I don't think you can be cute and try to go after the two any other way here. A bank or a safe. Oh, he didn't have room. <laughs> he he hits a ten. Alex got ball in hand. Got another chance to get within one game. Tell you, he can get close enough to the combination to shoot it. Mm. Those are a foot apart or a diamond apart, or not even on but an angle. But you got to get good on it. If yeah, you, you don't do. get good on it, of course not. Well, he's not putting a full enough hit on his one, so you know he's not going to the combination. He might be going to the bank cross side. Yeah, he would have put it a fuller hit if he was doing that other shot. 
Oh, mm. that's not good. Did not want to bump the eight there. That, that made the angle way tougher. He didn't shoot hard enough anyway, I don't think. Is he going to take the bank on anyway? Looks like that's what he's content to do. How'd he hit it? How'd he hit it, sports fans? Yeah, he didn't get rewarded. No, he had to get right another inch either way. And it's much easier to deal with. Instead, he got that terrible spot. These matches have a way of fully testing you. <laughs> I have to exhibit good patience here. Unwillingness to become frustrated. The $16,000 is a test in itself. But it's sort of an insult. I mean, come on, look at the level of play here. That's what we're shooting for. I really think that contributes to some of our own demise is always measuring things in terms of money because there's really not money here. And I think some of the other foreign countries, they come at it from the aspect of sport first and money second. Yeah, but it's more new to them. You know, we've been doing this a long time. Might the be other true. countries, it's a new thing to them. And there's pride and ego involved. Well, chain oh, no. jumping. Near full ball jump, trying to spike the three into the side. It's he a hit little it heavy. Anyway. Oh, look at this. That's not the roll that Alex Pagulian needed at all. Oh, he doesn't like it. That's going to even be hard to hit again. I wish someone would fix his collar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can play good with the collar like that. Uh. Not only do these guys need coaches. Oh, he didn't hit the ball. Fashion coordinators. Yeah. I think Chang is going to get on the hill here. Yeah, you got to have the killer instinct and take it to these guys if they give you that little crack of light. Hard to get. Two cushion position. Very well played. If he could just stop the ball now or stun it forward a hair, he's... It's all good. It all plays. I think he's got that. Brings the cue ball around three rails nicely. The angle here. I think he's in the play position for the side pocket. I think that's what you're supposed to do. It'd be a two cushion position. Pretty good speed. Oh, he, yeah. Oh, pretty good speed. That's going to be really nice. Perfect. Play position for the side pocket over by where he's standing now. The chat. Just this 10 ball away from Cheng collecting his 10th win in this match, and he's now on the hill. 
leading 10-7. There it is. That's the break performance. Change just a little better. 556 versus 500 for Peggy Lyon. Seven and eight, right behind the one. They've been finding the side pocket with some regularity in other matches. Cue ball found the side. Two ball, one around the table in the corner. Oh, Alex, in. this could be your last chance. And three and the four, that's going to be an awkward transfer there, no matter how you do it. Yeah, he's measuring out the play position to use a bridge to get to a tough position from the three to the four. It has to be distasteful at this point. Did work the cue ball pretty close. He's good. He can get to the four. He's going to be careful not to touch the eight here with his shirt now. This is one of those weird deals where looms quite large. Guess he's okay. Three cushions now. It looks like he's queuing up for. Her. How's his speed? It's going to be pretty good. Wow, fantastic shot. Didn't really want it to settle in on the nine, but a fantastic shot. And that was all set up by his use of ball and hand to get to an angle where it would allow the cue ball to come around there. Three rails perfect. Oh, look at this. Rush to nine, and it's a foul. Good shot. Really good shot. <laughs> Stream angle, but he doesn't have to do much to get to the seven. Well, this, I think he's jacked up. I think I think he does need to do a little something here. Draw or stun or jacked up or I'm not sure what he's got well, here. The ball banks too, but... The eight's kind of blocking the side. Yeah, it is. How's his speed? Not bad. Not hideously Pretty bad. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, he is showing a lot of fight, a lot of willingness to not quit. Well, we know he's a fighter. This is interesting here because now it's not going to be a conventional position route, I don't think. I don't think it's just going to be three rails around. The 10 ball's big. Now it is. He was able to get past Perfect. the 10. Boy, what a nice shot. It was a good shot.
Yeah, years of experience here on display to get these uh, fine edges here on the 5 by 10 table. Ten ball smacks the middle of the pocket. Peggy Lyon now has eight. Kevin Chang, ten. Nine oh seven for Kevin Chang, eight thirty five. Peggy Lyon. Getting some high quality uh, billiard programming here, that's for sure. All these matches have been great, much like we suspected they would be. And this is only the first day. And this is only the we're third gonna, match. We're going to see a lot of good play. Reyes and Appleton here shortly. Yeah, here we go. Peggy Lyon needs to be productive on this break. He'll afford any bad luck. Yeah, that's not oh, what he, he made wanted. Oh, he cue ball. Yep. So, I mean, he got kissed yeah. in. That's just what he couldn't afford. He needed a break, get a shot, get something going instead. Kevin Chang gets to come to the table with ball in hand and a wide open layout to win the match. And this guy gets out when he's supposed to. And this is definitely a supposed to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Things happen. It's five by ten with tight pockets. But if you can stay in line, the table plays pretty nice. You get in trouble along the way, and it really becomes ridiculously tough quite quickly. I like what he's doing. If he can get right on the cushion, he, you know, he's going to do it differently. But I, if you get right on the cushion, you'll have the perfect angle on the two to get to the three. You gonna draw back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what he decided to do. Yeah. Good angle to go one rail now to the three. Oh, that's not going to get there. Well, he got to cut anyway. Sure, he wanted to get better than this. Top speed now. Didn't hit. Hmm. Well, the four goes in four pockets that I could see. Five, if you count the far corner. This is tell. tough. Speed. Yeah, I can't tell what he's trying to do here. So. Inside English, I guess. Yep. Nope. Oh. Well, I, I used to call this, instead of reverse English, I call it remorse English. <laughs> yep. Well, you had a chance to get out. Sure did. You only got two balls of the way. He could lose now.
Another one of those tricky hanging balls to play position from. Yeah, he didn't want to cut it, but he got I on the 50 him. yard line. No, but still, I don't blame him for not cutting it because it was really going to be treacherous to try to use the cushions that deep in the pocket. Well, he got tricky here. You want to get better than this when the other guy's on the hill. Mm hmm. It's a lot of pressure. Hmm. Good shot. Too hard? Yep, too hard. A little bit. He's mm -hmm. got a shot, but he. Got that same circumstance where it's iffy. It's like you said, you don't want to be here when you're the other guy's on the hill. I have to come with a big shot here again. Tricky position. Don't mm. run into the ten two rails. No, I think he'd be happy to run into the ten two rails here. Just to, he'd still be alive. And don't you know? You always got that anxiety about this ball skidding. Yeah. Easily miss hit it. Hang it up. I don't think you think of the skid until after it skids. <laughs> well. Some of us do. Phobia ridden. Well, you just got to make this ball. That's it. Not yeah. worry about running to the 10. Just make sure you make the ball. No, he didn't he, make it. No, he made sure he made it safe. Yes. He, Good shape. He, yeah, he disliked it just enough that he thought, you know what? I'm better off to wait one more turn. Maybe something good happens instead of possibly risk giving this back. Jay's looking to call it frozen. Froze ball. Frozen. I don't see how you could hit it and scratch on a foul. See it? Frozen? Yeah. Well, in any event. But I don't think you can hit this ball without hitting a rail. Kevin yeah, needs to create something here from nothing, that's for sure. He didn't. Alex gets another chance. And Alex was rewarded for the shot that he played on the previous one where he chose uh, not to shoot. Wait one more turn. Still got some work to do. Yeah, he doesn't like this too much. Now he does. He got good on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'll be able to roll this right on in. Stop shot, stop shot to follow up. Pull within one game. Showing some heart and some good decision making there by playing safe when he had a shot, possible shot. Peggy Lion 9, Kevin Chen 10. Peggy Lion now requesting a player timeout. We're back, guys. All right, here we go. Kevin Chang leading by one, 10-9.
Peggy Lyon breaking. Displaying some of his famed heart. Battling from quite a bit of adversity here. Chang put on quite a flurry there. As we just went past the second half of the match. Chang needs one. Peggy Lyon needs two. I think the match is destined to go hill hill like the other two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fiercely contested. These guys have uh, never shown any willingness to quit or give up or make a halfway shot. Seven and eight right behind the one. They've been playing in the side pocket with some regularity. Not so much so in this match. Dry break. Had time for a dry break. Except he, he doesn't have anything. They didn't leave much. The idea was good, but I don't think the result's going to be great. Oh, you left long, a shot. Yeah, long, tough shot. But I think position comes with it. Here we go. This will be a big chance here if he can convert it. It's going to happen with this bump. Oh, you got snooker. Yeah. Good shot. Sure was. Oh. <laughs> he's upset. Yeah, he's smiling, laughing. Well. But he does. It doesn't. He doesn't mean that. No, I think. I think he might have just enough to get by there. Think he can hit the two? He's looking like well, maybe he has to half mass say then I guess he does. So he can't. He did. Yeah, he massayed it too much. Yeah, but how do you get to the three from here? Nope. Kevin Chang got a pile of work in front of him. Yeah, I don't see how you can get to the three. He's looking to shoot it, but where are you going? I think he'll snooker himself if he makes this. I can't see him getting to the three from here. Could you? Well, I mean, sometimes you're just back against the wall. If you don't see a reasonable safety, he might shoot with some power and go right straight on and just try to clatter off the balls and hope to get something. Oh, this is a hit and hope shot? I don't think so much hit and hope, but just play the percentages. Oh, he made it. He's so he got a shot. a shot. Yeah, tough shot. But that was the deal. Make the make sure you make the two, and then we'll play from here wherever it lands. Oh, this would be a great out if he gets out, because he's going to go two rails and off to the poor. Easier to say than to do.
Oh, kind of skidded. Yeah, that took some of the pace out of the cue ball. Mercifully. He well, he's got a safe anyway. Right. Mercifully, he didn't get stung as bad as it could have been. And he made a good hit, and the uh, object ball just turned the whole different way, rattled into the pocket. Well, if you shoot it straight on, you got to miss the six with the four off the cushion. Looks like he's trying to go thin off the four here. Maybe he's trying to get the cue ball up to the nine the cushions. No, he's just going to go one cushion. Okay, and try to use that seven ball, and he did a good job with that. That's going to be tough as could be to hit. Well, he's got a one rail kick at it. looking at it. Soft speed plays the best on this one rail kick, but then that makes it really tricky to get any kind of separation or even hope for a good result. You know, I don't see much that can happen good here. But part one has hit the ball. He looks like he's going to fan it. Yeah. Maybe he's sticking out. Be a good shot if he hits it. He did. Good shot. Good shot. Real good shot. No matter what, real good shot, good speed. He can hit the four, but I don't see any good happening. Yeah, from where, where Alex began, this is probably as good a result as you could reasonably hope for. Yeah. you like to have something more ideal. Not bad. Tough position to play from there for Chang. I think Alex is going to win this. It. Yeah, Alex is going to win this battle. What's Alex talking about? I'm not sure. Something about the shot clock's not started. You did, Alex. I bet you 50 on it. Make it 100. Just 50. I'm broke. <laughs> He's talking to the fans and laughing. Position's going to be tough here. Well, he converted a big shot there. Oh, that's a, that's a great shot. People realize it. Big audience gathered again here at the match conclusion. Yeah, he's got a chance to get out. <laughs> then we get another 10 10. Here we go. Not a bad idea. He got straight in on the 8, but that might be good enough. See if he can make it without hitting the 9. Mm hmm. Yeah, just roll up there. He can draw or he can stun, whatever he has to do. Super long bridge. 
trickles it on the yeah, home. Yeah, good. It'll be hard to reach, though, is the only thing. I think he's just going to have to settle for a long uh, a 10 ball here. Just draw the cue ball back. Just past the side pocket. Not try to get perfect here. Just come back a foot. Played it aggressively. Went two cushions. Yeah. The yeah, he audience didn't want, recognized that. He didn't want any chance to dog the 10 ball. Good stroke. He'll After go. that, 10 10. Here we go. spectacle day. Three consecutive 10-10 matches. Hotly contested, all very well played. The break has really not been that benevolent to either player here. Kevin Chang did break and run out three times. In between times, it's hard to find the ball and get a shot or not get kissed into a scratch. Hey, you see what Alex did? Hmm. Had to sprinkle some positivity on those balls. Yeah. Well, he didn't scratch. Two ball going to make the pocket. He gets a shot on the one. Oh, he's got a chance to run out. Things are looking good here. Oh, yeah, he's hopping around. Like to work the cue ball kind of close to the three so he didn't have to do anything for position. He'd like to just make a stop shot on the three if he could. Well, he'll get that angle to stop. You got it. You can't beat this kind of matches. I mean, third straight hill hill. Good job there. Get that little angle there. Oh, he has a wide margin of air. Oh, he's got a five. perfect angle now. It's like he'll play to have the cue ball go two cushions in between the nine and seven after uh, from the five. That's exactly what he's got. Boy, oh boy. Chen can't do nothing but sit there and watch. No. Perfect. Perfect. He's got the yeah, good very angle. Very nice. Very nice. It's pure class to break and run out when you're on the hill, too, Danny. Just so you know. Especially so when both players are on the hill. Yeah, he feels confident. 
He got a little straight here, so you know. He, oh, he could cheat the pocket and go one rail. Oh, I think he just dropped back. I don't think he's going to cheat in anything. I don't think he needs oh, to. He, well, I, the speed is easier. Oh, you're right. He can just come back a little. He'll be fine. Never easy though. <laughs> Just a lop there, be nice. It's perfect. He's perfect. Roll it in, shoot the ten in. Reed. Match ball now, right in front of Pagulion. Amazing matches. Aguilion moves on, <laughs> exhausted, he spent it all. Display of great heart there, Danny, and... Uh, Chang is a good sport. Well, he should be, yeah, he played great. So, what was your turning point in this match, Danny? When Alex didn't straighten up his collar. <laughs> you said he couldn't win that way, but he did, so... Well, that was the, the trick. We want to thank everybody for joining us. This has been another great AccuStats presentation. There'll be plenty more great 10-ball action coming to you. For Mark Wilson, Danny D'Alberto, so long for just a while.